Hello, good day to you. Talking really here. And today's story is the DWP are going to stop face-to-face disability benefit assessment due to you-know-what. Good day to you, and if, unfortunately I can't mention the the actual words, uh, but um, you know what is in the news, and of course it's quite important for disabled people to keep safe if you have underlying health issues. The story uh, we're going to cover now is in the Daily Record. Corona, uh, I nearly said it then, <laughs> you know what? forces DWP to stop face-to-face disability benefit assessments. They've told claimants that they are not required to attend face-to-face assessments for three months as the UK government ramps up its response to you-know-what. So they're going to suspend uh, assessments for sickness and disability benefit payments for three months to protect people from you-know-what. That's very kind of them. The DWP will put the extraordinary measure into place from Tuesday, March the 17th. So, claimants of PIP, personal independence payments, employment support allowance, ESA, and some on universal credit, and recipients of industrial injuries disablement benefit will also be affected. Suspension of of the face-to-face assessments will also apply to new claims of those benefits. It comes after the UK ramped up its response to you-know-what, up to the delay phase uh, after it was revealed that 53 people who tested positive for the virus had died in the UK. Works and Pension Secretary Miss Theresa Coffey, Miss Cup of Coffee, as we move into the next phase of our response to, to you know what, it is, it is right that we take steps to protect those with health problems. Temporarily suspending face-to-face assessments for sickness and disability benefits will allow us to ensure that we continue to provide a safety net for those in need, whilst removing unnecessary risk of exposure to the disease. Boris Johnson urged people to avoid all non-essential contact during a press conference on Monday. Johnson also said that people who live with someone who has a cough or a temperature should stay at home for 14 days. The total number of patients who have tested positive for you-know-what in Scotland currently stands at 171. It was confirmed on Monday that 18 of those patients were diagnosed with the deadly bug in the last 24 hours. One Scots patient has died so far as a result of you-know-what, which has claimed the lives of more than 7,000 people worldwide, which isn't that many really when you consider how many flu kills every year. This is the latest change in the welfare system announced in the fight against you-know-what. Statutory sick pay is now payable from the first day of illness instead of the fourth in a bid to support those who are self-isolating to slow the spread. But the government has been facing calls to increase the payment level from £94.24 a week and ensure there is support for the 2 million low-paid workers who are not eligible. Well, there you go. That's a concern. Are they concerned about us or are they concerned about people that are doing the assessment. I think that's probably more likely. They're not worried about us. They're more worried about us giving it to them. (laughs) Anyway, have a good day and uh, we'll catch you again very soon. Bye for now.